Hi there! Today to make the most of our math block, we're going to look at some ways that you can include Halloween into your math centers. I picked out some of our classroom favorites so I can show you the materials that we'll need and how to play each of those activities to engage your students in some fun Halloween activities. So let's take a look at what we have inside. This center is using those plastic eggs from Target with the little jack-o'-lanterns on the front. For this, we have Number Hunt numbers 0 through 20 on the front, and numbers 0 through 10 on the back. So it's easy to differentiate for what your students need. I put it in a dry erase sleeve just so we can keep reusing it. Inside the egg is the numeral, so they'll find it on their board and trace it with a dry erase marker. And they want to continue until they find all the numbers. Another way to use the pumpkin eggs is match the number. So this recording sheet looks a little different and they're gonna pop open the egg, see what numerals are inside. These are those mini erasers from Target and they wanna build it, 15, and then find it on the mat where it matches, 15. Open another one and they wanna build the numeral again, so 18. And you continue until you find all the matches. For candy corn 10 frames, we have this 10 frame mold. It has the little pumpkins. I got it from Walmart. And then we have the little mini candy corn erasers from Target. You can use real candy corn too. Just pick a card, build it in the tens frame. Pick another card, build that many in the tens frame. And you'll continue until you've built all the cards for your candy corn 10 frame. Cup stacking jack-o'-lanterns, we have the cards and the jack-o'-lantern cups. These came from Target, but you could use orange cups with a black Sharpie and just draw the face on. They will pick the card and build that matching arrangement with the cups. So we need three at the bottom, one, two, three, and two more at the top. One, two, and they can go back and double check. One, two, three, four, five, that matches the card. Pick the next one and stack your cups to match the arrangement. We also have the spiderweb cups. These are from Target as well and cards that match just so we can have more students at the same centers doing the activities. Feed the ghost. You'll need the colored pom-poms that match the card. You have the ghost face that you cut out the mouth and attach it to a cup with either tape or hot glue. And you're just going to read the numerals and match the color. So we need eight blue. So they're practicing recognizing the numeral, identifying the color, and there's the color word beneath it. They can use their fingers to put it into the ghost or they can use tweezers. So we need eight blue. One, two, and they'll continue until they get to eight, and go down to the next one. This feed the ghost is perfect for Halloween. There's also a feed the pumpkin, and there's a whole feed me bundle that has the different faces that you can cut out to practice. Mummy bowling I got from Target. You'll set them up, put some sort of board behind it. The trifold boards or the poster boards work great to just kind of catch the mummies. We use this big jumbo um, jack-o'-lantern bucket I got from Target to store all of them when we're finished. So you'll take the ball, roll it, count how many you knock down. We knocked down 10, so we want to cross off 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Write 10. There are zero standing up. Once you're finished, you'll stack them back up. They can look here if they need, or if you have this on a tile floor, you can do little stickers on the floor so they know just where to match up the mummies. And when you're finished, they all fit into our jumbo jack-o'-lantern. Make a Witch's Brew is one of our class's favorites. I store it all on this tray that is from the Dollar Tree. The bones are from the Dollar Tree. The craft eyes are from the Dollar Tree and so are the spider rings. The mini erasers, the pumpkins, ghosts, and spiders are from the Target bullseye section. And the little cauldron is from Walmart or Target, I think. So they'll read the card, I'll sit here. They'll read the card and it tells how many they need for the brew. So we need two eyes, three spiders, 
four ghosts. One, two, three, four, five pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five. And I just keep one of these little paint brushes so they can stir it to make their brew. And then they'll pick another card to build another witch's brew. Halloween tallies, this is numbers to 10. There's another version to 20, depending on what your students need. We're going to be using spiderweb straws for our tallies. You could use any straws, popsicle sticks, or pipe cleaners for your tallies. So you count how many is on the card and build that with your tallies. One, two, three. Once you've built it, you record it by the matching letter. So A, find A on your recording sheet. Pick the next card and build it. So five, six, four, five, six. B, find it on your recording sheet and you continue until you've built all the tallies. I hope you found some activities that you can take and use in your classroom to bring some of that Halloween fun to your math centers. I will link the materials and the resources that I highlighted in the video below. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful to you and stay tuned for more videos of making the most of our math block.